Okay, we have here quantity A, the sum of the odd integers 1 to 199. And quantity B, we have the sum of the even integers. And let me actually come back here and put that big word odd, because that's important. Quantity B, 2 to 198, and important to write that big word even. Which side is greater? Now, this can be a really time-consuming problem. And if you think, oh my gosh, this is going to take me so much time because I remember this formula about adding numbers and summing to both sides, and I don't know if I remember it, oh my god, ah. You know what? Skip this question. It is not difficult, but it is very time-consuming. Unless, unless you can find a quick way of doing it. I call this the stacking method. So let's say we have a baseball game. And this baseball game has a lot of innings. It just goes on forever and ever. So in the first inning, we have Team B on top here and Team A on the bottom. Who's winning? Well, Team B is winning by one point. Next inning. Oh, look. Team B again. Let me write that down there. Team B is winning by another point. So for each inning, what happens? Oh, looks like Team B gets a point for each inning. So how many even numbers are there up to 198? Well, if you have 198 integers, half of them are going to be odd, half are going to be even. So that means 198 divided by 2 is 99. So you basically have 99 innings in each inning. Team B is up by a point. So if you add up all the numbers, all the way till we get to this final inning where it's 198 to 197, not 199. Why? Because note, each time the odd ones are less. If we get to this point, we have Team B up by 99 points, but then in the, I should say, the final inning actually comes all of a sudden. Team A, out of nowhere, jumps in here and scores 199 points. And Team B, well, there's no other numbers out here, so they score zero, and the winner is Team A.